this video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to jailbreak PlayStation 5 offline with ESP8266. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to Dextech Pro. Previously, I taught you how to jailbreak your PlayStation 5 using an internet connection. If you never had a chance to watch it, you can give it a shot here. I'll put the link in the description below this video. Now in this video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to jailbreak your PlayStation 5 completely offline. I mean no internet needed at all. The method is straightforward the way that I'm going to teach you and it's pretty much practical as well. To jailbreak PlayStation 5 offline, you're going to need an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. It has a USB port that you can connect to both computer and PS5 via USB cable. But before I proceed, we need to download a couple of files first. Go to this GitHub repository link. The link is in description below. You scroll down and click on Assets to expand. And down the list, click on Download ESP8266 UMTX2 PS5.bin file. Then you also need to click on Download Pi Flasher. Here are the files, and this one is a game that I will install on my PlayStation 5 later on this video tutorial. Connect the USB cable to the USB port of ESP8266 and the other end goes into the computer USB port to get started. Ok, right click on Pi Flasher and run it as administrator. From serial port, click on select and I choose COM3. Yours could be COM2, 4, 5, etc. This COM port shows that my ESP8266 is connected to my laptop via COM3. From Node MCU Firmware, click on Browse and select the ESP8266 UMTX2 PS5.bin file that you already downloaded from the GitHub repository. From Bot Rate, select 115200. And eventually, from Erase Flash, select Yes to wipe all data. All set. Click on Flash Node MCU to start flashing data onto the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and wait till it's finished. First, Pi Flasher wipes out and erases everything on ESP8266 if there was something on it by default. Or it could be your previous files to free up the chip capacity. Then it starts to write, or so to say flash, the ESP8266 UMTX2 PS5.bin file into the ESP8266 module. During the flashing process, do not connect any USB devices to the computer to avoid any conflicts and be patient till all data flashes into the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Ok, all data is flashed 100% and the module is totally ready to use. Close Pi Flasher and then unplug the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module from the computer. I connect my external USB hard drive to my computer and copy the PKG game into it to just install on my PlayStation 5. Unplug and plug both ESP8266 and external hard disk drive into the USB back port of your PlayStation 5 first and then turn on your console. Go to Settings, Network, Settings, Enable Connect to the Internet, Set up Internet Connection, Hit the Options button on the controller, Scan Networks, Select PS5-ESP Host SSID and hit the X button on the controller. It asks for the password. The password of the Wi-Fi module is 1234578. Hit OK and wait till PS5 connects to it. It also tries to connect to the internet, but internet is not an option here guys, not at all. So he done OK. Now I'm all set. Go to Settings, Users Guide, 
and open up user's guide. Hit yes. Click on jailbreak and wait. Click on ETA hand to jailbreak and wait for it. Alright, jailbreak is successfully done. Go to settings, debug settings, package installer, and install the game. Here is the game and this is how you can successfully jailbreak your PlayStation 5 offline. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on my channel. And that's the end of this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. channel.